Hi everybody, welcome to Word Music's digital reading session. This is a new concept for us and we're really excited about it and hope you are too. This gives us a chance to show you some new projects, some new material from Word Music and you can watch, you can listen when and where you want to. So let's get started. For most of us at Christmas time, when we see either live or on television, uh, a choir of 250 or 300 singers with a full symphony orchestra and angels flying around in the, in the air, that's really not the real world, is it? For lots of us, even a choir of 40 or 50, that's not the real world. For lots of us, the real world is 12 singers or 15 singers or maybe, maybe 20 singers. That's the real world. That's where lots of us live. We know that. We understand it, and we want to help. That's why we've created When Love Was Born. This is the latest Christmas work in Word Music's Worship Now imprint. And here's how Worship Now works. It's ideal for the small choir, obviously, all written in the treble clef so that you can decide who sings what notes. Maybe you want to do the whole thing in unison. Maybe you want to try some of the optional voice divisions that are in the work. So high voices can sing the top note, low voices can sing the bottom. Or ladies sing the top note, men sing the bottom. However you want to define it, however you want to decide, whatever works best for you, that's the concept behind Worship Now. Five songs in this work, accessible piano parts, uh, about 22, 23 minutes in length. We want to jump in and show you a little bit about When Love Was Born. And we're going to start with the first song, This Child Was Born For You. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Was the Light Before Christmas is the next song. Sweet, charming little song I think you're going to love. In the book, on the recording, as you'll see, it calls for a soloist. That can be done, of course, with a smaller section from the choir, or, boy, if you can do it with the soloist, even better. Here's Twas the Light Before Christmas. And the light of the world. Twas the light before Christmas that shone through the land, and wise men did follow across oceans of sand to worship the Christ child in Bethlehem. Twas the light before Christmas that shone. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, so very far away. Shining bright, your wondrous light upon the night each day. One of you shone bright and true two thousand years ago upon Oh, 
The night that Christ was born is next. Great little song, adds a little soulful energy to the whole work right in the middle. It's a Kirk Franklin song. If you don't know it, you're about to fall in love with it. So let's give a little listen to The Night That Christ Was Born. Listen to the angels Rejoicing ever so sweetly Receiving heaven's glory The night that Christ was born Can't you see the people Coming from every nation Pleading for salvation the night that Christ was born glory 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 Now we come to the, the crux of the matter, the real point of the message here, with the title song, When Love Was Born. Big ballad, uh, very expressive, very meaningful, very powerful, really captures the essence of what this musical is all about. So here's a little bit of When Love Was Born. Okay, Shine On, the last piece, number five in the musical, gives us that up, 
celebratory, kind of climactic finale feel to the whole work. Let's listen to a little bit of Shine On. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us in this edition of Word Music's Digital Reading Session. I hope When Love Was Born is something you'll really take an interest in and a look at. Maybe not for your whole choir, maybe just for a smaller ensemble that needs some music to go out into the community to share. However you choose to use it, uh, we're grateful to partner with you in this ministry. Thanks a lot.